Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the radial nerve and how to test it. The radial nerve, if you look at the skeleton here, actually comes from all the brachial plexus. So it comes from C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1. And you can see here that it comes between the anterior and the middle fibres of the scalene. And then it comes through this interscalene triangle over the first rib, under the clavicle and off it goes. And then I basically call it an extensor nerve. And what that means is it's responsible for the triceps, as in for elbow extension, and it's also responsible for the muscles of wrist extension. So if a person is unable to extend the elbow, then feel the tricep to see if they are active. So if you just push your arm down to see if they are active. But be careful because it's also a C7 nerve root myotome as well. So just be careful on that one. And also if you test wrist extension, push up on your wrist, push up and she's strong, then you know that the radial nerve is okay. But again, that's also C6 myotome. So if you do have a, a true problem with the radial nerve, then what you might find is the web space in here, you might find you lose the sensation. So she might not be able to detect this as light touch or even a sharp blunt object, as in she might not know that's blunt and she might not know that's sharp. A friend of mine, um, who I trained with at Oxford University, he uh, was actually shot uh, in Iraq and the bullet went through his elbow and as it comes out it obliterated the radial nerve and then he ended up with a wrist drop so you had no power whatsoever in extending the wrist. So what the surgeons did was they, they shortened the retinacular and top here so he was already in, a, in slight extension and they moved one of the flexor tendons round so you had some, some motion there. Um, so that was quite remarkable and when I did use the, the neuro tip if you like to touch he had no sensation at all within this area. So that was an interesting case. If I wanted to test the power part of them two, I can get the patient, if you just lift your thumb up, okay? So this is the extensor pollicis longus, and it's again radial nerve, and if I put my finger on there and you just resist against me, and she's strong, which she is, then it means that the power of the radial nerve, which comes from the five, six, seven, eight, two, one, is all good. Um, so that's how I would test the radial nerve. I hope you enjoyed the video.